Welcome back to the channel. We're down at our large greenhouse. I was about to plant some of our kale out. It's getting some decent leaves on it. We've got a lot going on in here. This was our old solar heater box. This is what's left of it after I had recycled material to build a solar water heater. Now my idea for this solar water heater actually came while I was putting my John Payne composting system together. I was basically just rigging all of this together and kind of figuring out what I was gonna do and getting my pump and battery and everything situated to run my solar powered water pump to push all the water through my compost. So I had this idea right as I was building this and I had all of this material in my garage. So I had a little bit of copper tubing. I don't know if that might be quarter inch copper tubing but it is absolutely black. You can barely even see it. It's coiled up in there. I got about five feet of copper tubing and we're draining water out the bottom here. So let me explain what my thoughts behind this were. Now I have this large 110 gallon or 100 gallon overflow tank and I am going to use it to store and hold heat as a thermal battery. So this full tank is going to hold heat into the night, typical thermal battery right here. So one way I wanted to build upon that, I have my small, super small pump there and a, I don't know, maybe eight to 10 inch solar panel by about six inches maybe, which does not draw a lot of energy, but that is free energy anyway. So as soon as this gets a little bit of light on it, this will be running water from the bottom or midway through our tank where the water's definitely going to be colder and we will bring that up with our pump through this little tiny fish tank hosing here and it runs right up in the top of our box. I just put a little bit of tape around the hose to get a nice seal on it so it's pretty well tight and we've got that five feet of copper tubing running down to the bottom and this box is already holding about 95 degrees in there and I just put this together about half an hour ago. The temperature of our greenhouse is about 78 degrees right now. I've got my door open so the temp is actually dropping because we're only about 45 degrees outside today. By using a slow method of transfer and not overflowing the system with too much water flow, I'm able to transfer more energy from inside this box to our water. In the half an hour to 45 minutes that this has been running, I've already transferred about five degrees to my tank just by passively running it through this system. That's just my calculations. I took some temps before I set this box up and then I took some temps afterward. I was between 64 and 65 up to 69 now. So I really wanna see what kind of results this will give me because this is a promising experiment and I will continue to use this, especially next winter, because this is nice and enclosed and I'm using such a small system, such a small pump, I'm not using a whole lot of energy to achieve a lot of energy. I'll I'll be able to hold all this heat in my greenhouse and radiate it out and I will couple it with my compost heating system so I'll have two systems paired together that will passively and actively heat the water and push it through my greenhouse and push it through the greenhouse floor in order to give some more insulation and some warmth to the floor of my greenhouse a lot of the plants are looking pretty good now that we've got some water and a little bit warmer temperatures some purple tat soy, some garlic. I gotta get all these kale planted. One more thing before I let everybody go. I just put that video up of these little pine tree cuttings in our aloe vera. Got a little bit of protection going on just to ease the pain of the direct sun. They've got some sun coming in right now, but that is good for the plants. I don't want the hot direct noon sun to burn these up inside our greenhouse here. I want to thank everybody for watching these videos and if you have any questions on this little solar heating box this was super easy to make and it was all recycled material i literally took everything i had for my old solar heating box to make this box the glass pane and the wood and basically just spray painted my little piece of copper and this box is sealed up and it is catching 100 degrees after about half an hour of being in the sun and built 